are insane! Hello, and welcome to the Madhouse, episode 87. I am Ultimate Spy, 53, the host of this podcast, and joining me this week, I have... Stephen Kovacovic, also known as Steve Kovac. I'm a little sick, so my voice um, may sound a little bit hoarse at times. Okay. Hi, I'm Lucas. I have tacos here, so I'm going to be quiet at first. So yeah, uh, two things that happened uh, this week was that one one really kind of crazy thing that, that I was very surprised about, and that I'm kind of confused why they would do it, is that uh, Fox, which is known for their uh, X-Men movies, because, you know, until that Fox deal goes through, which we talked about, but it hasn't been finalized yet, then they still ho- have the rest of their movies still, and apparently there was some kind of feud and some kind of box office thing where the movies that are coming out this year um, are getting, you know, the, the dates are getting switched, so you have the New Mutants movie, which was something we talked about before, which is a, the, like the horror movie from the X-Men horror movie, apparently that's mm-hmm. getting pushed back to February of next year, which is ridiculous. Oh. Uh-huh. <laughs> It's like, do they need extra time or something? I don't really know. And then, the, and then Deadpool 2, which is called Deadpool of the Second Coming, that's that's getting pushed up earlier to May, I think it's 18th. So it's about two weeks after the Infinity War movie comes out, which is great. But I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of confused why they would do that. Like, it doesn't really make sense. Like There's a superhero movie coming out that you can take your kids to, and then a couple weeks later there's that superhero movie coming out that you can't take your kids to. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Well, but like... I mean, I mean, they, they, they Deadpool, so. yeah, they explained why they did it. It was like some kind of like the box office thing. Like even if you know, even if it would have worked out, like oh, the new movie would have even come out at the same time that Deadpool two came out or something. I mean, it's like oh, now we have now we have two Marvel, Marvel movies coming out in the same month. One of them is not uh is not a Marvel movie from the Marvel Cinematic Universe, but I don't know, I was, it was kind of weird because they had a trailer already, and they already had to release this, it's like, how is that going to work out, like, how are they going to, they ha- when they showed the new trailer, or the trailer they currently have, are they going to just change the date, because it still says April 13th, which is, I don't know, that feels like a cool date, but I don't know, I, I don't really understand that. Well, my question is, now that Disney owns Fox, does that mean that the X-Men can be in in the MCU. Well, okay, so or here's like here's where it gets complicated. So this, I mean, we talked about it before, uh, about how we're, exci- how we're so excited about this, but the thing is, so it's been finalized. They, they, the two companies have said, okay, let's do it. But the FCC, which is like the government, they control uh, what com- what what like companies like what like like for example, I guess they was they were able to control the whole Spider-Man thing. But that's how they were able to get Spider-Man into the um, MCU in the first place. So with okay. this whole thing is that. Like, the deal's gone through, but the government, the FCC, has to like, say, okay, we, we can let you have those characters in that, in those movie, in that, that franchise. So, it, that might, that's gonna take over a year, and obviously, it, we won't even have anything in it. And even if they do, because the initial trilogy for X-Men plan is still, like, two more movies after the one that's coming out in November. So, it means that after that, they're probably gonna get a reboot. And that reboot could probably be the the MCU, but until then, is we're gonna have whatever movies are coming out now that have been are development or whatever. They're they're gonna come out like Venom is, is filming now. You got Gambit, which is that's probably never, never gonna be made. I'm just not even counting on that one. I don't I don't even care anymore about that movie. But like the De- Deadpool three, Deadpool four, X Force, all those movies. I'm sure that like they'll reboot the X Men franchise within the MCU, but that won't happen until the FCC says okay. So I mean, okay, this yeah. Is very calm. It's it's very complicated. Like the the FCC has to to okay it first. But I mean, they this, Disney and 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 Fox have both agreed. Or uh, Marvel Studios, which is which is owned by Disney, they've talked to Fox and they've finally said, okay, you know what? You can have the X Men characters and the Fantastic Four or whatever they whatever they, they they agreed upon. You can have those characters. You can have those in the movies. I mean, the, there's a other thing with like, oh, maybe we can finally see. You know, Chris Evans play two superheroes in the same movie. I mean, <laughs> but it's like, or, or the the whole thing where it's like Black Panther or no, Michael B. Jordan and and uh, Chris Evans give him give him Marvel actors a second chance, as if they had thought that the Fantastic Four movies from the came out like ten plus years ago were terrible, which they weren't. They were actually really good, in my opinion only. Um, I really liked them. I thought they were really good, but um, I, I'm really liking exactly. Oh, no, the first of the. Fantastic Four movies. I didn't like the Silver Surfer very much. Really? But I liked that first one. Still, even then, I thought they were. I think people just complained like, oh, the effects were stu- the, the, the effects were, you know, rubbery, and the and the actors were didn't act good. Or people complained that Jessica Alba 
was not a good Sue Storm. He's Have read the comics, I would, I would really, really know, but like, that's ridiculous. I love those movies, come on, people. But, um, yeah, I mean, the real th question I have is, why did they move, and I mean, I, they, they explain the move, but it doesn't really make sense. I mean, they already showed the first teaser for, for New, New Mutants, which looks terrifying, but also really interesting. But the question is now, are they pushing it back for just that reason, or do they just need more time? Because the movies, the movie would originally have come out in three months from now but if what they're doing right now if they're doing that it, it just feels like it, if they're doing this whole move it might make sense that it, they just need more time to edit the movie because i don't know when it was finished because i mean there are some movies that literally take two years to edit i don't know how many movies there are out there that do that but i'm sure there are some movies that take literally two years to edit get everything done but i don't know i don't really understand that like two and a half years editing the original Star Wars. Really? Is that how long it took? There was there was something crazy like that. Wow, that's ridiculous. That's ever, wow. It was like to get the, the pace of the the yeah. Death Star like dogfight right. He wanted it to just just flow just right, and he spent forever on that one scene. Wow. Which one? Which one is that? The uh, Death Star, like the oh. whole run. Okay, so, got it. Yeah, never... I can understand that part. But uh, yeah, I mean, Deadpool two. We only got like one teaser from that. And that was it. I mean, it looks it looks awesome. Not as not as awesome as Infinity War, but like Deadpool two. I, w I I'm very happy that it's coming out, but I'm also kind of like thinking this is a big change because if people are if people are doing this to certain you know movies, it's like oh by the way uh, Deadpool editor or Deadpool two editor, you have less time to edit the movie. It's like oh crap. It's like it's like they had a deadline to get the movie done by by June first. Oh um by the way editor, you're gonna have to finish the movie up by mid May. Sorry. It's like that must be pressure right there. If if they have to do that entire thing, that means the that means the editors have to work faster mm -hmm. to get the movie to look good. Cause for heck, the first one, the first one I realized when I was watching the Deadpool one that the whole like well the highway scene the the very beginning of the movie where where Deadpool's like in the car all that stuff that entire scene is green screen or blue screen or, or whatever they used it was not none of it kind of like the Captain America Civil War over battle scene nothing none of that there was an actual there was not actual plane there was not actually anything like that and that is a really crazy thing about uh, making movies is that when you see it it's like oh look that's cool turns out that's all blue screen or green screen or whatever they use so it's right. crazy but um yeah but i mean but with deadpool 2 i think it'll be i think it works it, it's gonna be okay with the whole release day i think it'll be fine i mean the, it's the, the fact that um is i don't know if you guys know this but uh josh brolin was picked to play cable uh which was teased at the end of deadpool 1 and Ooh. Everyone knows he's playing Thanos in um, Infinity War, but you know I don't know how it's gonna. I'm still not con you know convinced that that's gonna work out so well because I was I was convinced that people like Stephen Lang from uh, from Avatar were gonna be in it, but I don't know. I mean it looks like it's gonna be a really great movie, but I'm not really sure. Uh, Stephen, what do you think of this whole uh, I guess release release date change? I think it's rather um, interesting. I mean I think they're just kind of pushing it because. They um, realized, like, oh, we're not going to be able to get this done. It probably had some delays in some of the production or something, or maybe something took longer than they expected. That happens all the time. Yeah. So just, um, I imagine the original release date is usually just an estimate. Like, yeah. okay, we'll probably be able to get this done, and then as it gets closer, if they need to, they'll make changes. Yeah, but it's like, the crazy thing about the New Mutants movie is that it's, Taking and they're, they're they're literally pushing it back ten months. Do they really need that much well, time to edit the movie? It's probably just, it's probably just um. But again, they're probably just falling behind in some some of the things they're doing. Some of the things may be taking longer. Yeah. Than you know they thought it would. That's true. That's like some of the effects or you know call. the acting. Because you gotta remember they also have a lot of kids. So yeah. It's like in the new horror movie, whatever. Yeah. Mutants, so yeah. it's likely that, you know, and kids, you know, I, I, I just been around them, and I've been one myself, so they're not <laughs> as easy to control. Yeah. <laughs> so, it's, so it's likely that they, they've been kind of playing around a little bit or not acting. Not acting? The best of their ability, did, you they, did you even see so, the, yeah. the trailer for it? <laughs> a part when it came out in October, I think it was. That's where I'm yeah. confused. Like, <laughs> like, how can they be still, how can they push it back an extra 10 months if they already have a trailer out? Like, come on. I mean, I'm just, are they going to have to, like, go into the film and, like, go, okay, we're making this now a, a, a February 2019 release, 
sorry, it's not April anymore. Because <laughs> because in the original trailer, you you see an April thirteenth release, which is a totally a fight, you know, a a Friday the thirteenth kind of spooky thing. And it's a horror movie. I mean, I'm I'm still very very unsure if I'm gonna see it. But even then, I'm I'm very confused why they are doing this in the first place. I, I mean, I think it's interesting the way they're doing it. You're right. It's very interesting, and and they have, must have a reason for it. Yeah. But I don't know. It doesn't really make sense why they would why they would. I mean. The only the only explanation that I can think of for pushing it back that far, I mean, I can understand Deadpool, but pushing it back that far for the moons is they, they just need more time to edit the movie. That they realize that there's some effects that that still need to be fin finished. They don't they need to you know it's like oh we don't I don't think we 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 were working on this since you know we finished filming yeah. it back in you know whenever they finished filming I don't know what it was, but it's like we need like an extra few months to to edit it. We just not we can't we can't make it good until if it's. If it's supposed to be released in April, we just can't do it. And then I guess it's like all oh, the box office records or whatever. It's a kind of financial thing. I guess that's what happened. But still, I think it. I think it's probably they just want more time. I mean, I think it's ridiculous because I that movie looked like a, it like it could be it could have been fun despite it being a horror movie. I still think it might have been you know fun because it's X Men movie and you know superheroes and Jonathan Byers is in it. Well, no, uh, the actor who plays him yes is in it. Um, for those of you who watch Stranger Things, I don't think I've actually really talked about the the new is like in terms of the, who's gonna be in the movie. Have I? Or I think I I think we've talked about it, but I don't think we've actually really delved into the act, actual act. Because I know that I know that talked about it. Yeah, I know that Millie Williams is gonna be in it. Who was it, who was in Doctor Who and also uh, Game of Thrones, which I don't really care for because it's really violent. Um, but also, John, like the actor who played Jonathan Byers in Stranger Things, if you watch that show, he's he's the older brother in the show. Yeah, it's a really good show. I don't know why it's such a, it's actually not bad. But he's gonna be in that movie as a as a mutant, and like he he's the guy who in the, who had the the sling and the I think the black eye or something, and he he was like you know I think he was realizing that the house they were in was a was a haunted house or something like that, where it was like the place they were in a facility. Um, but that that's pretty much that's pretty much it. That's that's pretty much the the movie, um, but yeah, I, I think the only I think the only reason that they have pushed it back in the first place is editing, really, because otherwise I don't know. And, I, and if the movie getting pushed back ten months is frustrating, just yeah. imagine being a Kingdom Hearts fan. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Kingdom I haven't actually two. played the first one yet. So. Kingdom Hearts three since two thousand and five. Wait, what? Sorry. They've been working on that game for ten years or twelve years, thirteen years. Yeah. That's ridiculous. Over there, I'm sorry. That's frustrating. <laughs> okay, well, I think that's all. Wait, wait, Deadpool 2, you guys want to talk briefly to mention why we, you know, do we think that moving Deadpool up is a good thing? Like, does that make it bad, or does that impact the movie? Do you think it's a good thing, or, because I'm not quite sure. Well, I, I don't really care about Deadpool at all. I saw the first one. didn't really enjoy it that much. Didn't really, so. yeah, it isn't forever. I mean, that was the first, like, the first X-Men movie that was rated R for me, so not, and not everyone's gonna enjoy it. I can understand not everyone liking those movies. I, I really do, but I, I still think it's really not really important, but, like, really I think it's gonna be really a fun movie because it's, I don't know, it's, it's Deadpool and he's not really a character that you see a lot. And... I, think, I get that it's a big deal, and I get that a lot of people like it, it's just not my thing. Yeah, I totally understand that. Maybe maybe it's probably the, the the balance, the the sexual references, the the language in it, all all that stuff. It's not your typical X Men movie, so I can totally get why you would, you would not really enjoy it as much. Because it's not trying to be an X Men movie. It's yeah, in, in, right. the, in no. the same universe, I, I but it. it's and, yeah. You know, it, it, that's your thing. It's not cool. Really, I'm, I'm glad. I mean, it's not it's trying not bad, to be an X Men movie. It's just like it's thing. part of the universe. So I totally. <laughs> I can see why you wouldn't you wouldn't like it as much. It's not for everyone. I, I'm I'm I'll, I'll see it, but it isn't my favorite thing. But yeah, I can totally understand that. Um, right. So I think that's all I, I can say for the news. I just thought we should talk about it because it was announced and it's like, whoa, what the hell? Like, doesn't make any sense. That's really all I can say about the movie because we have no idea. Besides that, we can just at this point we can just like assume that's what's happening because they don't really have any information about that. They literally just said, oh, what's moving? We're pushing it back. We're moving it up. Okay. <laughs> just think they can it's kind of like random okay so i think we've, we've covered we we've, i think we've exhausted that topic so we've, we've talked about this topic uh before but that was when it was announced we don't really didn't really know anything about it but now we have a lot of information and that is the venom movie that 
was announced and it was in filmed as soon as back as October. They started filming in October. It's going to be, I believe it's going to be a R-rated movie from the Sony division because, um, I don't know if you guys know, but Sony, what they're doing is, like, they, they, they let Spider-Man have, they let the, the Marvel Studios have the, have a character Spider-Man, but they still want to make their own, you know, universe. So they're, they're making a bunch of Sony Marvel projects and one of the, the first one is Venom. They do, what they're doing with this one is they're making a Venom Sunlight movie with Tom Hardy. If you know who he is, he played Bane in the Batman movie. He was the third one. It was The Dark Knight Rises. He, yeah, he played Bane in that one. I have only seen that one, like movie once, so I I don't, I don't know I anything it else. It. He was also in Dunkirk, <laughs> but I never saw that because I don't really care. But so basically, they're doing Venom now. They're making they're they're uh, there's a, like a video I saw. It was like a, it was at the I think it was Brazil Comic Con or whatever, and they and they and they had like a video call from uh from the set of Venom, and Tom Hardy was actually talking to them about about the movie, and well, like, I think the director said they're doing they're doing the from the comics they're doing the Planet of the Symbiote storyline, which I've never actually read, but because I don't really read a lot of comics, but I think that's really cool, and he I think Tom Hardy thinks he's gonna bring the best Venom out to everyone. I'm guessing that's not gonna look anything like the Venom you saw in Spider-Man Three, but I still think it'll be cool because it's it's. I don't know, did, did you guys like the Venom in Spider-Man 3, or was that not your thing? Well, I think it was... I think it was cool. I just yeah. don't think it was well-written. Mm, I right. didn't really like Spider-Man 3 that much. At least not the writing. Yeah, it isn't forever. I don't really pay attention to that stuff, but, uh... I don't, I don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking it'll be different than, than the what we saw in Spider-Man 3, because I was like... They said they, they just decided they wanted to do Spider, you know, um, Venom in that one. Now... The really cool thing about um, this movie is there's a rumor going around that the villain of the movie is going to be Carnage. Now, I have no idea if that's going to be true or end up being true, but I think it's pretty cool, honestly, if they do that. That would be really cool. Um, right. Because I've only really seen Carnage in, like, well, enemy and stuff. Carnage is awesome. I bur- I, he's basically like the, 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 the rival to, to, to Venom, essentially. He's just basically red. In some incarnations, he has, like, these... these I don't know these claws or something. He's re- he's really cre- he's really creepy. And I mean, wow. if, if if the venom in in Spider-Man Three was it was anything terrifying, which it was, especially especially the scene where Eddie Brock gets the goo on himself, which and and in this case, the symbiote does act like this goo stuff, which is really crazy. Um, in fact, on that note, I was I was looking looking at the Spider-Man Three. I think it was the Spider-Man Three behind the scenes, and well, that's. It was that uh, you'd expect that they would they would actually like a CGI that event, but but a lot of the time the suit was practical. But like for the close up shots, so it was all practical. But like you know for the scene where he's on the wall, that's that's CGI obviously. But I don't know. I, I I'm I'm curious to know what they're gonna do with it. What what the movie's gonna be and it I'll be up up like so far they they just have a logo which is literally just we are and then hashtag ven- hashtag Venom and then of course a Venom. Uh, logo or a venom logo with like the the face on it which is actually really terrifying if you think about it but i don't know do, do you think that it'd be really cool to see that the carnage that, you know, basically do you want carnage to be the main villain would that be would that be interesting yes yes carnage is so cool yeah yeah but I mean, he's basically like you know venom except red pretty much oh, oh he's way scarier than venom well, i mean that's like the, the, what he's made of he's like he's, he's like he's Right, he's a, it's, a, it's a similar creature yeah. to Venom, but its mindset is different. Venom yeah. is looking, is always looking for something to feed on, whereas Carnage Ugh. is looking to murder everything because it can. It just wants to kill everything. So. Did you ever, did you ever play the Web of Shadows Spider-Man game at all? No, I don't believe I did. It was actually a really good. I'm, I'm, I think I finished it, but I still have like to get the the end, different ending for the achievements, uh, which is not I'm probably like I'll be able to get to that for a while because it's very very hard. But uh, basically in that game, the main villain was Venom. It was a, I think it was a version of I don't know what sort of was was using, but it was a Spider-Man game, a very fun Spider-Man game where the main villain was Venom, and like you had like you had like like different. The symbiotes will like in fact like Wolverine, Black Cat, all these different you know Marvel characters that are in the Spider-Man universe. That sounds really cool. I know it's a really good game. I mean, it gets very difficult because you know Venom and everything. There's like white symbiotes. It's like eventually the whole city of New York becomes infested with with a uh, with evil symbiotes that basically are are like in, like basically think of it as a zombie apocalypse, but like symbiote symbiote apocalypse essentially. That was the whole game. Okay. Like, 
Like, the first half is Venom's up to something terrible, and then the second half is, um, the whole city of New York is literally infested with white Venom things, and also black too, but, uh, that was the really cool, I mean, I never finished it, I finished the game technically, but I didn't get the endings still, because there's achievements for those, but the really crazy thing, I think, okay. I think even Electro was, was a part of the, the game, but it was a great game, you get a fight along with Wolverine, it was a fantastic game, and, you know, kind of like that, where, where it showed how crazy Venom was, in terms of what he can do, like, obviously, Peter was was it was infected by the venom thing? He got the venom thing. It, it, it was weak crazy, but yeah, I, I don't know if they'll. I don't know if they'll do something similar to that. If they, if if, if Web of Shadows or anything like with is gonna be anything like you know in terms of like a storyline or what venom can do. If they decide to use that in the movie, that would be pretty crazy. I mean. If they're implying that Venom is the hero in this movie, which is going to be really interesting, then it would make sense for right. Can Be Battle, you know, Carnage. I mean, I don't think that Venom has ever been really a hero, has he? Or uh, I don't know. I haven't read too many of the comics. Me Venom, either. So. I, mean, I don't know either, but I'm, I'm assuming that's probably what they're getting. I mean, I think he's really an, an anti hero, but I don't know. So, Steven, Lucas, what do you think of the of this movie based off of the plot? No, I don't think there's any really plot reveal. I think the only thing we know about is, is you know, the rumor, the rumor villain and who's playing Venom and what comics they're going to adapt from. But what do you think of the movie? Do you think, I don't know, like, I know you're probably going to see it, but what do you... What are you hoping from it? Because I mean, I, I have, I, I can, I can talk about that, but I want your opinion first. Um, I expect two giant Spider-Man monsters to be snot out of each other, and it'll be pretty cool. That'll be really fun, actually, because I don't think we've ever done. I don't. Think, I think they just did Venom in that one movie, but I don't think they ever did Carnage. I think they did an animated version of that. I never. I think there's even a fan art where it's like Venom and Carnage like facing each other. That's gonna be pretty cool. But uh, but the interesting thing that I think is gonna be really cool is if they treat Venom like a hero in this movie. I mean, I don't even know what the plot is. I don't know what they're gonna do. I don't know if these are if there's like a. I, I mean, I'm really hoping that that that, that rumor about Ven you know Carnage being in the movie. I, I think it, they're just saying, oh, maybe would maybe Carnage will be in the movie. I don't know. I don't think they implied it was the villain. I think they just implied that you know maybe Carnage will be in the movie. But I don't know. I mean, the other thing about about uh, this movie is we don't know if Sp if Spider-Man and Tom Holland will be in the movie. Because he's like in the same world, the same reality, but we don't know if it's actually been connected or anything. So I have no idea. But um, yeah. I don't know. Just um, it doesn't feel like there's enough information as of yet. So. Yeah. How about, do you think Tom Hardy is a good choice for the role? I can see it. Yeah. Yeah. How about you, Stephen? <laughs> I don't know. Um, I, I really don't. <laughs> that's that's fair. I I don't I don't blame you, dude. I mean. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't blame you. If someone asks you, what do you think of this? It's like I don't know. I have no opinion. I don't even know anything about this. Like, what do you ask? Like, I mean, that's gonna happen. Someone's gonna ask you a question about like. What do you think of this actor playing this character? Like, I don't know much about it. <laughs> I don't no, blame but, you. Um, but, you know, I, I, I always I, like to... I don't, I don't think I've heard of this actor either, I don't think. Tom, he, Tom Hardy, he played... You may, you may remember seeing the, uh, the Dark Knight Rises. He played Bane in that. Oh, I, yeah, I, I yeah. think I he's, know who you're He's about. playing uh, Venom now. He's the new actor playing Venom. And oh, oh. Yeah, he's playing Eddie Brock, the new Eddie Brock. The, not Tom for Grace played Eddie Brock before, but he's playing Eddie Brock in this one. So it'll be a different take on the character, but it'll be the same character. So I, I bet he'll look different. I imagine there'll be some kind of motion, cap, motion capture in the movie because I, th I think that the CGI has probably gotten better since Spider-Man 3 came out. <laughs> Clearly, it's been like 11 years, my goodness. But uh, yeah, I think that I think that it'll be a di it'll be interesting what he does with the character because he did imply at the at the at the convention that I that I well I didn't see it because I I was not at it but uh, I saw the video where he said I'm I'm I promise you I'm going to give you the best venom I can muster so that must be good <laughs> I mean it's really good news that he's gonna do that because um, I think Venom isn't my favorite character but I really like the, the I, I like him he's a good villain he's because I think you can uh, the really really interesting thing about Venom is the fact that he can actually produce his own webs kind of like how Spider-Man could, could do that in you know the original trilogy. So you can produce it from organically. So the really good thing about Venom and why he's more powerful than Spider-Man is the fact that you can actually produce, you know, symbiotic webbing from his own, you know, skin or whatever. I don't know what it's called. <laughs> you can produce like unlimited whatever. I don't know. I I, I don't know why I'm what? saying that. It, it's hard to explain really. Well, I think that's all I can say about um about the Venom movie. That's some really really um cool stuff that's ha that's happening. I'm sure we'll talk about it more as we as we get more information. But I figured it's been a, quite a while since we talked about Venom. We but I, I mean the back we, last time we talked about it was before we knew anything about it really. We know like we knew that there was gonna be a movie. We knew it was announced, but we didn't know who was gonna play the character. We don't really know anything 
besides that. Now they've actually officially begun filming it. We know the actor is going to play Venom. And the only thing we're waiting on that and what it's going to be, is what it's going to be about. Like, what is the movie going to be about? I'm sure we'll find more information as the year goes on. Because I think it's coming out in October, which is... If it's supposed to be a horror slash already movie, which is really crazy because I don't think that's ever happened before. I don't think a, a Spider-Man type movie, you know, Spider-Man universe style movie is going to be ever, ever rated R or being a horror movie. Right. I think that's what they're implying is it's supposed to be a horror movie, so it must be really dark and creepy. Um, kind of like what the new means, but yeah, um, is that all you have uh, to say about Venom? Is there anything else you guys want to talk about on that subject? I don't know. Um, Not really. That was cool. Not really, no. Okay. Um, that's cool. fair. I'm excited. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I think it's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be really cool. So yeah, I think that's that does it for that topic. Um, there's one final thing I want to talk about before we um, end this episode, and that is, I was at this tour tonight. It was the Markiplier You're Welcome tour. It was it was crazy. Uh, for those of you who don't know who Markiplier, he is he's a very popular YouTube YouTuber on YouTube. He has over 19 million subscribers. So he's very popular. People adore him. He's crazy. And unfortunately, I could not meet him at PAX because the line was capped. So I. I had, no way, I had no, no way to meet him and get you know, anything signed. So I went to a tour tonight. So it was this afternoon. I got to see... Oh, I didn't get to meet it, but I got to see him. It was, basically, it was literally just a improv thing. Some dancing, some awesome music. Um, some various... You got like the, I think there was the Duel of Fates was in the was part of the music. Uh, the Spooky Scary Skeleton theme song, which I believe is from the game Undertale. I don't know if that's true or not. I haven't played the game, but I... But I think that's the truth right there. I don't know. I've never played Undertale. I just I haven't really been interested. I thought it. it was a thing before Undertale. Really? I didn't. Know, I I just know it's a really oh, annoying no, song. I've never played Undertale either. Me so neither. I, I just know. I just know. I I have heard a lot about about the game. I I've been told who the characters are in the game. That's about it. <laughs> so not my fault really. Neither neither of our faults. Like we haven't played the game, so don't blame us. Or like I haven't played Overwatch. Don't blame me. I just haven't gotten around to it yet. <laughs> it isn't our fault. It's like oh yeah, or Legend of Zelda. I haven't played all the games. Don't blame me. <laughs> so it's like you can't do much with that if you haven't played it. It's like it's like. Like, oh, I love the song. What song? It's like, you don't know the song? It's like, no, I'm sorry. I haven't played the game. Song, it's not my fault. I just haven't had enough. You know, I, I don't, well, like, I don't have the money to buy the game. I have no way to play this. So I can't really do anything. Or, like, oh, this is song from Legend of Zelda, you know, Breath of the Wild. Like, I'm sorry. I haven't heard this before, but I have, because I haven't played it. I don't have a freaking Nintendo Switch. I don't have $300 lying around, so that was the thing. <laughs> it's like, it's not my fault. Basically, it was, he does a lot of uh, video games and stuff. He, he does a lot of amazing things. He He's very funny. He's hilarious. He often helps people with, with you know, going through a tough time. He's an amazing person, honestly. I, I didn't get to meet him, but I was very close to, I, I saw him twice at, at, at the PAX panel and obviously tonight. And basically what I saw was he, he basically did a lot of improv and, and, uh, and did some awesome music with it, and some dancing was involved, and he basically, most of the, actually, the entire show was literally just improv, it was just literally him doing improv, and doing, like, different characters, it was a guy who came on stage, he came from, a think Silverdale is where he came from, and he, they basically did a, a, improv, a improv, improvisation with him, like, like, based off his life or something, I think they even did, like, a, a Wild Wild West thing, where they pretended they were cowboys or something, I don't know what they called it, it was very, it was awesome, I mean, it was loud, but it was awesome. It was a lot of cheering. But uh, yeah, I thought it was a fantastic thing. The only, the only problem that I faced with the, with the tour was that I did not actually get to meet him because at the end of the panel, turns out I couldn't actually meet him because he well he said I'm sorry I can't do I can't do gifts I can't do selfies or anything Aww. like that. He didn't really give a reason why, but I'm pretty sure the reason why was because of the the tour. The next tour was literally in like only a few hours. Like the tour ended at like 4:20 or something. I don't know what it exactly ended. And then of course the next tour would have been like eight. That's only like a few hours because tours don't like setting up a tour takes takes several hours to do it's like right. everything takes time so you have to like set everything up it takes time so you know it takes a, just like that 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 hour that's why you see people lining up outside the, the theater um, right you know like three hours early i mean when i got there i i was hoping to get there an hour early when i got there there was like a line that went from theater and then it went and then it turned you know turned up turned at the corner all the way down the road and then it turned right and now and then it was like right here it was a very long line. I mean, it didn't take that long to get up to the theater, but it was it was lengthy. I mean, you can imagine why it was lengthy because he's a pretty popular right. guy. But I yeah, thought it was yeah, incredible. Yeah, yeah, I was I was like I'm glad I got here. You know, an hour early because <laughs> if I hadn't, I would be in trouble. Because like, but yeah, I was very disappointed to not be able to see him because I 
because uh, one of my one of my friends was uh was wanting to, to me to give him a message and I couldn't do that at all because there was literally no way because oh. like he had to set up for the next tour he didn't really give a reason why he couldn't do it because he didn't really I don't think he needed to because it was pretty clear why but I'm like oh right. so I didn't get the chance to officially meet him which means the next time I'll be able to meet him is PAX September which is nine which is eight months away I'm a little irritated about that but honestly I can't really yeah, do much about it. it so I think it's I think it would have been really cool to have met him because I got to meet Jack Lutica and I was very I was I was shaking uh, at PAX. I don't think I I'm pretty sure I told you about what happened at PAX. I went up to the guy. I was shaking. I got a I got a picture with him and then I just I just forgot to introduce myself because think about it. You're meeting your favorite celebrity or internet personality and you were too scared to right. even say hi. I'm so and so. So I literally was a little terrified. I was like, it's Jack Steptic I mean, guy. Honestly, that's not kind of ter- terrifying. So. I shouldn't. I mean, not really terrifying, but like you're nerve you're nervous. You you can't really no, say anything I, because I, 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 I mean I I, 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 I asked him if I get a picture with him because I didn't have a pen so and that was worth it that was the most fantastic but yeah i mean that's pretty much how this evening went i was i think it's really incredible how these things happen where because he's doing he's doing he's doing all of the world and he does such amazing things like there was a video he made it was a mario maker episode and he literally said that you know today I, every time i swear i'm going to donate 100 dollars to charity because i can't and so he i think one, one of the episodes he ended up i mean it was a couple of episodes where he did this but like one of the episodes ended up costing him three thousand seven hundred dollars to charity because he swore so Wow. Yeah, and then of course he also ended up deciding deciding to just donate ten thousand dollars to charity because he could. So wow. Yeah. <laughs> so that that's the kind of thing with YouTube is that it changes your life, especially with uh, people like Markiplier, where they. I mean, most of you probably heard about Markiplier by now, but he makes amazing content and he's hilarious, especially those cat videos he made where it was he literally put like his his lips on 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 cats and dogs. I and it, was, that. it was hilarious. I, have you seen that one? I just sent that to me. It was. It was. It was pretty great. It was hilarious. Like it's like. Am I a cat? <laughs> That's like I think the best line he ever came up with was "I'm a cat." But uh, yeah, I think it's incredible to meet those people. And I, I, in fact, you know, when when it comes to big things like you know an event like this or, or Comic Con, which is coming up in March, I have to get I have to like sit, I have to like you know get out there and, and be brave about it because it's it's hard for me. It's really hard for me because you know I have to to. Because I, I have autism, so I have a really hard time going to places where I have to, you know, be in a, in a, in a big place. Because, like, I'm going right. as the, I'm going as the Flash and this, this Comic-Con. I'm going to get a good costume. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to meet a bunch of actors like Christopher Lloyd, Tom Wilson, Felicia Day, Mark Shepard, and Matthew Lewis, among others. Um, Christopher Lloyd played Doc Brown, and, and Tom Wilson played Biff, and all the other Biffs. Or all the other, other incarnations of Biff. And then Felicia Day was in the Guild. Mark Shepard was in two episodes of Doctor Who. I think he, he played an American. Um, and then I think it was I think it was also was it was Neville in Harry Potter. So. Oh really? Yeah, yeah. You didn't know that? No, I don't. I don't know my actors super well. So. <laughs> yeah. Um. The crazy story about that is that Matthew Lewis. He started. He starts you know, in Harry Potter as this really cute kid, little chubby guy. And then, as he grows, he becomes what girls think is extremely sexy. <laughs> so, it's actually this picture where it was, it was, uh, it was Daniel Radcliffe, it was a few years back, it was Daniel Radcliffe and then Matt Lewis in, in the same picture. And I think it was other actors too, but like, you have, you know, Daniel Radcliffe who was, who was, you know, he's, he's good looking I suppose. We have him compared to Matt Lewis who was all, you know, to girls who's like, oh, he's so sexy, and then you have, you know, Daniel Radcliffe just looking like a nerd. <laughs> So, you know, things like that. It's, 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 I mean, I, I'm, I'm kind of, I'm kind of amazed about how the whole convention and stuff like that, you know, this works where, where you can get actors to come to the convention. I mean, they haven't, haven't had a specific reason to come, but I, I always, I don't know, I always feel like it, there's a reason for it. Because it's like, they wouldn't just bring Christopher Lee, or Christopher oh, Lloyd, oh. he's dead. Christopher Lloyd, the, the other Christopher, to, uh, yeah. to come to a convention if it wasn't, if it was just, oh, we're going to invite Christopher Lloyd over. Why? Is there a reason for it? Oh, because Back to the Future was such a good movie franchise, so we're going to invite him over. And they're gonna have a they're gonna have a DeLorean, which is awesome. I'm not kidding, actually. They uh, I was on the the page, and they are like I think uh, this uh, this couple is bringing a replica DeLorean to the Garrison Hotel, which is literally like up the up like down the down the street from the convention itself. I think it's and it's the, very cool. And it's the or... There's a, there's even a hoverboard they're having. I don't know. I don't know how it works. I probably get a bit wired, you know, but it's awesome. If you're a big fan of Back to the Future, they're you know, they're gonna have a DeLorean there, a, a replica of the the DeLorean. Then of course both actors, and you of course can get signings from like you know all the actors play today, which I'm very excited for because she's awesome. I think anyway. You know what I'm talking. You, you know who I'm talking about, right? Uh, is this uh, which Comic Con is this? It's Emerald City Comic Con actually. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. 
and last year they had like you know Peter Mayhew, yeah. Avenger Lily, really cool. D'Onofrio, Michael Rucker, and Tom Felton, among among others. But this year they're they're because like I feel like it's it's kind of like in rotation. I mean I don't know what what they did for for 2016 Comic Con, but I feel like because this is the second actor they've chosen from a Harry Potter movie to come to the convention. Because last last year they had Tom Felton, and this year they're having Matt Lewis. I'm just like feel like like. Unless they had a, you know, unless they had someone from from Harry Potter from last year being from 16, I feel like they're just kind of like cycling the actors in. I don't know, but I mean, that's just the really interesting thing about conventions is you don't, you never know who's gonna be who's gonna be at it. In fact, the same thing goes for for Stranger Things. They had Millie Bobby Brown last year, but this year they're gonna have the uh, girl who played uh, right. Barb. Yeah girl who died in, the, in, the, in that show she is going to go to the convention the actress who played her yeah so that's really cool i mean i'm not i'm not really all that interested i'm not i mean i'm, I'm interested but like i can't really afford to get an autograph or a picture with her so i'm just gonna so that make some sacrifices like i can't i'm not gonna get, be able to get a picture with mark with mark shepherd because it's just what we do with money to spend but uh i think it's really awesome i think it's it's fantastic that they're able to do it i mean the only thing that i'm kind of curious about is when they hire actors to come to conventions what's the reason for it like is there a reason to hire matthew Lewis? to come or is there a reason to hire two back to the future actors i don't know never really understood that probably drives interest like people people will want to come and meet their favorite actors so yeah then you know they'll buy convention tickets i mean i know, you know it's not really relevant for people who who live in like you know michigan or whatever like you steven but uh i mean it, you can you, I, I imagine there's there's you know i think there's there's probably a convention per state right i imagine like every every state there's a convention like living in the I think in oregon there's the portland convention center and then uh, in california there's the san diego convention center and then i don't know i think there's there's quite a lot of conventions i, mean, I feel like they're all over the world i don't know what what they're limited to but i mean because i know when i when i spoke to steven about this whole thing he said that he wished he, he could come he wished he was in washington still but i imagine there are i imagine there's some conventions all over the world i mean there's a one in kansas what's the word but down there lives so yeah that's really all i can say about 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 that i just find it really interesting that that's the thing that's going on i don't know like have you guys ever been to a convention before I went to Emerald City Comic Con in 2015. oh you went to you went to emerald city comic-con in 2015 is that it yeah 2015. okay do you, do you remember who no. do you remember who they hired to come to the convention that year no i didn't actually go see any of the we just hung out in uh, by the vendors, both of them bought a bunch of comic books. And, yeah, and they... that, that's, that's that's really cool though. That's really incredible. How about how about you, Stephen? Have you been to any recent conventions? I haven't been to any conventions recently, but I've uh, you know because I've been moving and stuff like yeah. that. But you know, I don't. Got it. All right. But yeah, I, I would I would recommend you guys check out some conventions if you can. If they're if you live near one, then check Want them out. They're, they're really cool. Of course, they are very expensive, but still. That's really all I can say about 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 that. I I, I kind of went off a little bit of tension to actually somehow we got to conventions because I brought it up but uh oh, that's fine. yeah it's fun it's fun to talk about that kind of stuff but yeah so all, I, all i had to talk about tonight is there anything else you guys would like to discuss or uh anything, <laughs> anything else you had in mind you had in mind what you wanted to discuss tonight no not really yeah no not not really okay um, well i think we actually covered pretty much everything that, that i had on my mind actually uh -huh. that's good yeah i think that's good it's a good time to wrap up so yeah that does it for this episode of madhouse right. thank you guys so much for listening we hope you enjoyed it if you did please hit the like button we really appreciate the support and if you are new to the channel subscribe for more episodes of this series and other series that i do and also make sure you subscribe to steve kovac the link to that will be in the description below and we will be back next time with another episode all right, bye-bye. Bye. 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 bye.